So I moved this fire ring that was surrounding this, the leaks here, the leak bed that I was showing you. Never mind all that, those jugs are just water from the rain. I'm capturing it from my rain barrel out to the jugs. And then over time I will pour the water into my plants and then recycle the jugs. But for the time being, they're just extra water storage. I'm trying to collect every single drop. And over here, I placed the fire ring and I'm gonna grow new crops in here. I put a lot of cardboard down there because there used to be a lot of that Bermuda grass. So I'm going to try to put um, some carrots in here as well as some other root vegetable, maybe some celery. So I have filled it with my native soil. It's mulch that's about two years old from some trees that from some tree that we had in the yard, um, fruitless mulberry, and we had it shredded. And actually, they took that away and they gave us like palm tree and ivy, like um, that they took down with the tree. And those these are the bits and it's broken down aged two years so I filled it up pretty much to the top to the brim um, what I'm going to do because there are some cardboard and things like that is I've added water and everything to help it break down so I am going to add some newspaper on top and water that down and let it sit there for um, a few days and Instead of putting carrots in, because this soil's not that great and I don't want weeds to come up, um, so I keep having to put off growing um, growing carrots because I keep doing the same thing. I keep filling the soil in different beds with the native soil and it may have weed seeds in it and then I can't grow my carrots in there. So <laughs> I gotta change that. Um, so next time I'm going to try to definitely grow carrots. So what I'm going to do here is go ahead and put the newspaper on top and let it sit for a little bit. And then when my seedlings um, are ready, I have some tomatoes and chili peppers and herbs and stuff. Then I will just grow it, um, stick it in here. Sorry for the noise. Some people are having some trees cut down next door. Pullets, cucumarans, um, pullets, and bantam tree. Mm hmm. The texture of it. That was his onsite right there. Sex chicks, female holly. Oh, yeah. They the blue ostrowarps are They won't let you in there unless you. Uh, So, so we did make the expansion of the chicken run. It used to be only half this width, right where that door is, the doorknob. And so we expanded it with this section here. This used to be Borge Way and Corn Row. And we pulled out everything and just leveled it out and put this um, new section with the roofing so that they get airflow but shade and um, we added a few more chickens we got 10 we ordered 10 but the delivery person had a lot an 11th one so we ended up getting the little pullets the 11th one and they're doing great first we separated them for a few days and now they're with the older chickens and they do need to be put in at night because um, they don't know how to get in on 
on their own so far still they haven't learned to go inside on their own and over here we are getting these beautiful blooms on our donut peach i mean they're so gorgeous and they're all full of buds on every single branch and on our new pear tree this is the century asian pear it's starting to have leaves love it but it's really short it's about two and a half feet tall and then our kefir pear is already leafing out so that's pretty cool so i got some clay pots and i'm trying to grow herbs in these and i hope they grow because uh there were a couple days i couldn't get out here on account of work and the soil was dry and you're not supposed to let the soil get dry when you put seeds into the pots so i put this above my fire ring and i have a layer of um, newspaper there because i'm trying to keep the weed seeds from growing underneath and as soon as the herbs pop up over here i'm going to put some seeds down there So I have a lot of herbs like um, Agastache, um, let's see, chives, cumin, tulsi, bush spicy glow basil, lemon drop basil, garlic chives, um, spicy saber basil, true hyssop, lemon balm, just all kinds of stuff. So my collard greens and lacinato kale are doing really big, really well. They are about three and a half, four feet tall. Um, and I've been just taking the leaves and breaking them off and giving them to my chickens. And over here, the only single purple broccoli it's ready to go. There's two purple heads. They're gorgeous. <gasps> They're so pretty. And this is just one plant that I bought from Home Depot. It's called Graffiti Cauliflower. And I it costs like five dollars and something cents for the plant. But I I really wanted this because it looks so pretty. And I'm gonna it's not a hybrid it doesn't say hybrid so after I collect the um, broccoli heads I'm gonna cook with it I also eat the leaves so um, what I'm gonna do is just when it starts to go to seed I'll collect the seeds and see if I can grow more purple ones this is the only one back here that that looks that way so I do have other brassicas back here so I'm kind of worried about them I'll try to keep them from going to flower and to seed. It's gorgeous. I'll leave you with a look at that at that beautiful plant right there. I've never seen anything so so gorgeous. It's about the size of the palm of my hand. And this one's a little bit smaller, but same plant.
friends. So I have lavender blooming. This is um, one of four plants that are blooming. I am trying to sow some seeds of perennial plants here. Some purple coneflowers, some daisies, poppies, something sprouted. Let's see what that is. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh. Burpee zinnia. Big red. Oh yes. These were like really pretty looking. And some sunflowers. Here's another one that's going to open up. Another bud. Another bud. Another bud. Nice. I've got nasturtiums blooming. This bright orange. These yellow ones. This is the peaches and cream mix, I believe. No, sorry. The peaches and cream I gave away. And so I have, this is the um, fiesta mix. That's what it was. Here's some borage. I already pulled out like four plants to give the chickens to eat and it'll just reseed itself and grow more so I don't worry about it too much and then here is a really pretty color it's in the shade so you can't fully see it and it's like a salmony coral color um, so I have one from Baker Creek So I have Cherry Rose Nasturtium, which is the Baker Creek one right here. So it's got this really pretty color to it. And then this um, Dwarf Jewel Nasturtium. Here is another lavender. This succulent is going gangbusters. Some apricotta, uh, calendula apricotta. It's really pretty. It's got almost like a variegation, like it has punches of uh, peach and white or cream. Really pretty. And then the regular calendula, um, I believe it's Pacific Beauty. Um, really, really pretty orange. Pineapple sage amongst some fennel and the hummingbirds really love pineapple sage and I just go around cutting up nasturtium, fennel, leaves, mint, uh, brassica greens and I give it to the chickens and they just go wild and some grass. Here is the wild bergamot coming back in full force with some yarrow right there. And my apple is starting to awaken, my apple tree. And here is my apricot tree. Oh my goodness, this it's starting to develop the leaves again. Um, just a couple weeks ago, it was bare, not, not a single leaf. My fruit tree guild beneath the apricot, I've got yarrow some kind of blue sage, some Shasta daisies, some chrysanthemums. Over here with the apple I've got a different sort of chrysanthemum and some society garlic. My poppies are coming too. Wow, look at that beautiful, rich orange color so pretty and then some peas growing amongst them snap peas this is all poppies right here i re-sowed the seeds because i didn't see anything so i, I was fearful that it wasn't going to grow so i sowed the seeds i collected last year that's coneflower masses and masses dianthus so last week I gave several plants of poppies to my siblings. 
I gave several plants of tomatoes, garden monster leader, and um, indigo rose pole cherry. And then I also gave them the wild bergamot. So my sister has honeybees, so I know that the wild bergamot, I mean the bees go crazy. So I told her to plant them near her um, beehive and that way they don't have to travel far because sometimes when we're swimming um, they come and you know try to get water from the pool I also gave her a uh, bird bath so she could fill it just shallowly for the bees to have a drink of water so they don't go and try to get water from the pool and drown Pretty, sh pretty soon I'm going to have a, the cone flowers blooming. Oh, that's so pretty. I think it's a red one. It's hard to say. It could be the blue variety, but it looks reddish. So this year I got from the Dollar Tree the polka dot or something like that. Uh, corn, corn flower or bachelor button. So um, it has like a pink center and then whatever color, uh, you know, and on the petals and then I have my traditional blue ones the blue boy so hopefully it's a mixture of both my gladiolas are coming back including little ones that are popping up which I did not think they would here's some more and then my um, medicinal agastache and other plants that I plan on using for tea uh, they're coming too, so it's hard to see right there. Do you see the little tiny sprouts? I thought they were going to die because there were a couple days I couldn't get to watering them and it got really warm really quickly. So right there, there's, um, basil, bush spicy globe, tulsi. I love it. I'm going to finally have Tulsi again. It dies off too quickly in the winter. This year and last year we got a lot of rain and although in the winter time it uh, is all like sticks and branches and barren and hardly any greens, look at it now. I mean it is so full. Um, so green, so lush. Love it. Here's another perspective. And especially as those branches start to fill out, it's going to be very, very green. This is my urban food forest, permaculture forest. Um, I have many citrus trees, pineapple, guava, pears, apricots, peaches, donut peaches vegetables, flowering plants, goji berries. Look at this goji berry plant is humongous. It's like a tree now. Here are the little flowers that the gojis become or from the flowers they become goji berries. Here's my huge rosemary and look at those pretty purple flowers. Smells so good. Oh my god. I just love to smell all the herbs. Here is another perspective from part of my garden. I love it so much. Things are awakening up and starting to um, leaf out. I'm trying to grow um, what is that called? Pickama here, but it might be too shady. So we'll see. Um, too bad I stuck four seeds into the ground right here, but I think in the later in the day it gets more sun. So not to fret, something to learn from. And this is a volunteer nasturtium over here. Some chrysanthemums. Here is another chrysanthemum. So one is yellow and one is like a purplish 
color and then I have a pinkish color. So here is my Cara Cara orange and it is making so many blooms like crazy and it smells fantastic. It smells like this is what I feel perfume smells like like really good perfume. I'm pretty sure they do use, you know, citrus blossoms um, to make, to include in perfumes. <clears throat> so I'm quite upset because this is the first year that it's produced this much flowers. Last year it did two and it produced some fruit, but somehow it got knocked down. Well, now this is the next year and it looks like it's starting again and sooner so something this this tree was about four feet tall and all of a sudden lately something's been climbing it and just shaking it or climbing it and putting all its weight on it and it's upsetting me because it's knocked down all the blossoms and it's reduced this the branches down to only like two feet tall that's that's really making me quite upset however I'm not too upset because you do have to knock off some of the blooms or you'll have too many fruit per branch so I'm not too 100% sh sure on it so what I did was I took my um, trellis and I kind of lifted this branch so it'll get um, so it'll be taller This is my Mexican lime tree and last year I didn't really get too many limes and I don't know why some of them did fall off but it just seemed like I didn't have that many fruit so I don't know if it got taken or it just didn't produce or if it's biennial so it'll produce every other year a big uh, production. So there's one, so it's greenish and then it becomes yellow, but you can use it. And I think this is the seedless variety. However, the tree, oh yeah, it is a thornless variety, but for some reason I was at, this, at the store the other day and I saw one that said thornless uh, Mexican lime tree and it had thorns. So I have no idea what's going on. The same thing happened to my pineapple guava tree. It was quite tall. As you can see, it's about seven feet, eight feet tall. And all these branches down here were, were up here <laughs> and about at the five, six foot level. And something climbed it and kind of made everything come falling down. So all the branches are near the ground. And then some are up over here and then just the one leader is up there so it's quite upsetting i tried to prop it up with a piece of metal but um i removed it and i'm gonna have to ask somebody to help me hold up the branches and then i'm gonna prop it up again so that'll give some light to my strawberries down below i've got a variegated society garlic some chrysanthemums my asian pear tree my lime tree this is the one that you use the leaves to flavor things and scent things so this year i'm trying to grow a lot more and i grew a lot of things earlier in the season so they had more time to grow but it was a cooler and wetter uh, winter than usual this year and last so a lot of things Kind of took a long time to to grow even though i started them earlier and then some things died off so that i guess can't be helped but i'm trying to share a lot of my plants with my family so that whatever i have they will have a spare of it and if i need to if mine die off for some reason or another then they'll have some plants that i can get the seeds from and regrow 
So, and also they can have their own collection of the same plants as well. Why not? Instead of buying everything, they can get quite a few of their plants and varieties from me. And here's a lupin. Finally, it took forever to grow. And I just spotted it right now. So I can't wait till it opens up. It looks like a white one. Um, here's a pea shoot that you use like in salads. Um, I'm trying to look for the other lupins. There are some in here, believe it or not, but it's it's quite lush. Lots of poppies, lots of cornflowers, some daisies, some dianthus, and I'm waiting for the zinnias to pop up. I have some cosmos over there. I just see one. I'm hoping for more. Well, friends, that's all the update I have so far. Um, I do want to share with you uh, something else in another video that's um, not related. It's a, it's an update, but it's not quite related to uh, just kind of the tour. Here's my donut peach blossoms. Gorgeous. I love the color.